Amanda Nushawat is here with us, 23-year-old environmental coordinator of the city of Secaucus in New Jersey, which suffered flooding during Superstorm Sandy, forcing hundreds of residents, including the mayor, out of their homes. She's also a member of Sustain Us. Angela Nunestis is with us, originally from Haiti, now a student at College of the Atlantic in Maine or she's a member of the Climate Justice Group, Earth and Brackets, which has been participating throughout the week here in Doha. And Marco Cadena is with us, an organizer with Push Europe and Young Friends of the Earth Europe living in London. We welcome you all to Democracy Now! The other day when I saw you, um, Marcos, you weren't wearing this T-shirt that says Push Europe, People Before Polluters. You were wearing one that said Weapons of Mass Destruction. What was the image? Uh, the image was a massive oil rig uh, saying a weapon of mass destruction. Yeah. Talk about why you're here. Um, well, we came here with a clear message to governments. We want uh, developed nations to, to act now um, on climate change. We can't wait. There is no a decade to waste. Um, but we're also using this opportunity for, um, for capacity building back home. So at the moment, we, in Brussels, we have 100 activists training and getting ready for the next year when a COP is going to back to Poland. And we're going to work really hard to build a movement and actually make a real splash and get that out into the public domain, because this climate change is the biggest ever threat humanity faced, and we need to step up all together. Amanda, you are, what, the climate change coordinator in Secaucus, New Jersey? Environmental coordinator. Environmental coordinator. How old are you? I'm 23. What does that mean, the environmental coordinator? Uh, well, I work on green initiatives, and I advise the mayor and council on any kind of environmental issues that we can uh, basically tackle in the community, and I reach out to young people. Uh, you know, we have green summer festivals, and we raise awareness about important mm -hmm. environmental issues. What did Superstorm Sandy mean to you? Has it changed the way people in New Jersey and around the United States view climate change? Absolutely. You know, the reason why I'm here is to share our story back in New Jersey. Uh, after, the, after all the panic subsided after the hurricane, a lot of people came to me as environmental coordinator to ask about climate change. You know, what's going on with that? What conference are you going to? Can you tell us a little bit more about it? We saw a lot of elected officials uh, come together, put their political differences aside, uh, like, you know, Obama and Christie come together. Together, Bloomberg endorsed Obama. So um, we've seen a lot of different kinds of changes and that climate change is a reality, especially in New Jersey at the moment. Angeline, talk about what the environment means in Haiti. Uh, environment in Haiti means a lot because Haiti is a country that has been hit by severe extreme event, climate events for almost every year. So there is like, there is like, we severe flood and extreme um, hurricanes severely affected the country both directly and indirectly. So uh, every every year, hundreds of many uh, of thousands of people died. Many have been displaced and others stay homeless. So. As a youth, I think it's my responsibility to take part in this uh, uh, kind of activity to say something about, to, to do something about it. Um, I would like to see climate justice. I would like to see a new IT. Uh, IT uh, what does climate justice mean to you? Climate justice, for me, is eradication of poverty. So that means that the developed countries need to take the responsibility by fulfill, you know, their, by delivering on finance, which is key for a country like Haiti to address uh, its adaptation needs. Marco, what does climate justice mean to you? Um, all that, including um, the fact that um, currently the emissions in the atmosphere is about 75 percent are coming from developed countries, countries who have been emitting for over a century, and now they're trying to place the burden on developing countries for those who barely have enough to eat. So we have a, a severe injustice here, which we need to address and we need to, we need to echo. Um, so climate justice in a, in a very, very nutshell means reducing eradicating poverty through allowing poor countries to develop cleanly and sustainably and um, opening up technology, finance and getting developed countries to reduce their emissions as fast as possible.